Need his name up in lights, he just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else Alone, in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him But fuck him, he knows the code, it's not about Okay, some of us are not fully acquainted with the pivot step I guarantee you, when you're fighting, and I'll give always in stance You will get movements and you will get steps It makes it harder for people to know where you're moving So let's just have a quick look at the basis of a pivot step if I'm moving in this direction, my left leg will swivel all the way round and then my right leg will step. So I pivot, step. So Hazel, if you go on to that side please, you're well acquainted with this, just so you've got a reference from that side. So let's all move in unison now. So, we're going to pivot the left leg. But the left leg actually has to move and swing round. Go. And now step. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving normally for now. Trust me, we'll get this within a minute. Good. Keep going for now. Don't pivot, don't pivot just yet. Only pivot when I call it. So, pivot, step. Pivot, step. Bang on. Keep your hands up. Pivot, step. Pivot, step. Keep looking at me when you pivot, step. You're not taking your eyes off your opponent. Pivot, step. Pivot. Step, keep looking at me. Pivot. Step. Don't take your eyes off your opponent unless you're doing it to wind them up. Change. Good. That's it. I'll change direction. Sorry, it's a bit unspecific of me. You'll get used to me with, with time though. So, we've learned the pivot step one way. Now we're going to pivot step and we're going to swing the right leg behind the left leg. So, pivot step. Good. Let's not get caught up guys. Pivot step. Good. And guys, what you can do is a couple of you can move forward a bit, you can make an inner circle. So just move in a bit. Pivot. Step. Pivot. Step. There's many important attributes to being a good fighter. One of them's a good defense, one of them's a good attack. But believe me, if you want a good defense, you've got to know how to move on your feet. You've got to get out of tight spots sometimes. Change. Good. Now we're going to start stepping it up. It's an advanced class. We're going to take it to the next level. Keep your hands nice and high, guys, now. Good. So, periodically, as and when, you guys pivot step by yourself. Every three or four steps, just put a little pivot step in. Pivot step. That's it. Left leg behind the white. Left leg behind the white. Good. Come, come to the center with me briefly. Keep going. Come center. Pivot. Now, big, big. I want twice as much. Pivot. Now step, and loosen up, keep looking at me, pivot, step, keep looking at me as you pivot, step, good, now you've got your eyes on the opponent, change, good, now in general when you change direction, it's probably because someone's trying to attack you, so when you pivot, step, and you change, tuck your hands up, I want you to compact yourself, don't stop yet, keep going, so, when I call change, I want everyone to encapsulate their jaw, get the chin down, tighten up, change, Good, nice and tight. Come on, let's go. We're going to learn how to pivot step today. It's going to be a big basis of our class. Change. Now, need I say, pivot step as and when you feel like it. Good. If you feel uncomfortable with it, keep working it. It will become comfortable with time. Nice. Lovely movement. Change. Good. How about getting them hands up by your chin? Good. Good. Now, let's go to the next phase, please. Keep going, slide back and jab, slide back and jab, and we're jabbing in that direction, good. We're jabbing to the back of our partner's head, very good. And I'll demonstrate a couple of times by myself, we're going to slide back, when I call stop, you're going to throw a three punch combo and slide back again. When I call stop, one, two, three, and slide back, and any punch combo you want, ready, go. Good, and back on the move, let's go, let's work it, snap the jab out. Keep looking that direction, young man. That's good. Go! Need I say I need some hands up here. Elbows in, sideways on. 
loose on your feet. Go. Good. And just a bit of advice. Rather than actually looking back to see where you're going, why don't you just look below your elbows? Then you don't have to turn your head as far. That's it. You don't want to look behind you when you're fighting someone. Go. Good work. Go. Lovely stuff. Okay, and relax. Good. We'll come back to some movements around the, the main dojo a bit later on. Face the mirrors again. Roll arms forward. Good effort, people. Good. Trust me, once you get used to pivot stepping, it just means you're gliding on ice. It makes it much easier to move. It's much harder for people to focus on where you're moving. Good. Alternate lunges. Good. Good. It's going to be a two and a half hour session. Uh, if anyone needs a drink before I call it, just, li li just let me know and you can go and have a quick drink. But we're going to have little drink breaks every 20 to 25 minutes. Very good. So if anyone needs a, um, a quick drink, have a quick drink now and then meet me back here in 30 seconds. Let's go, everyone in unison. Good. Single movement. So try not to move until I call the next move. Back. Back. Forward. Forward. Left. Need I mention the golden rules. Chin down, hands up, elbows in. Sideways on. Back heel off the ground. Why should we have the back heel off the ground? It's a shock absorber if I get punched. Imagine the starting blocks of a sprint race. It's a kick start. You want that back heel off the ground all the time, unless you're kicking off that leg, obviously. Forward. Keep your hands up. Back. Look, I, when I fight, trust me, I fight with my hands all over the place. But when the going gets tough and I'm under pressure, believe me, the hands come straight back to the temples. You have to know how to defend yourself properly. A tight guard is imperative. Forward. Back. Left. Right. Good. Keep the knees soft, the slight bend in the legs. Slip left. Good. No movement for now. You're just doing upper body slipping. Slip left. Slip left. Slip left. Everyone slip left and stay slipped to the left hand side. Stay slipped to the left hand side. Just slip and hold the slip. Go. Good. If you're slipping left, it's essential that you bring the right shoulder forward. So you've got to twist that right shoulder forward and you twist on the back foot and come back to normal. Good. Keep looking at the mirrors and relax now, my friend. Good. Keep looking. Good. Slip left and back. Slip right and back. Slip left, and back, elbows in, hands up, slip left, slip left, good, now I'll call the slip and you just literally slip, come back to the centre, slip, come back to the centre, slip left, slip right, good, and we're now going to roll towards the left hand side, so we're going to roll anti-clockwise, I'm going to roll left, come out through the right, roll left, go, good, roll left, roll left, Chin down, hands up, elbows in, roll left. Good. It's a common mistake a lot of people make when they duck. They roll and they drop their hands. I'm rolling because someone's attacking me. I'm not going to drop my hands then. Roll right. Roll right. Make sure you come back to your natural stance, which is left leg forward for those who are left stance. South pause, obviously, it's back to front. 